We're celebrating the grand opening of Snow Labs. So after uh, uh, 10 years of uh, concept, design, and construction, we've now reached the point where Snow Lab is opening, opening its doors for business. So uh, as we are seeing today, there's a number of experiments now in the process of uh, installing equipment here at Snow Lab to uh, start in a program of taking a very, uh, it's a very exciting research, fundamental to, uh, to our understanding of the universe. This is the SNOW Plus experiment, it's the follow-up experiment um, from SNOW. Mm -hmm. We're sensitive to neutrinos coming from the sun, so we can continue studying the sun in detail. Uh, we also are sensitive to neutrinos coming from the Earth, from underneath us. Those are actually anti-neutrinos, but we can see those as well using the liquid scintillator. The liquid scintillator um, is the medium that allows us to create light when a particle comes in and therefore watch the physics processes in the detector. We're in a hole in the ground excavated out of rock and we uh, have naturally occurring radioactivity in that rock. So things like uranium and thorium occur at a few parts per million in the rock around us. That produces radioactivity, which again would mask the signals we're looking for in these experiments. So what we're trying to do is exclude that. So we do that by several strategies. One is that when we bring our cells and equipment in, we, we ourselves shower, uh, the equipment is very carefully cleaned, and we maintain this like a hospital operating room, the level of cleanliness, because the amount of dust that you would get just in, in a very clean office environment on the surface would be uh, more than you could tolerate in these experiments. I find it very exciting to actually go underground uh, in a working mine. I find it fascinating to go through this very, very dirty mine and then be in a clean lab here, which is probably one of the cleanest places on Earth. Uh, we really keep track of what we bring in here. We select materials carefully. Uh, we clean everything, including people, as much as we can. Um, by, go, by having two kilometers of rock as overburden over us, we have left in the volume of snow about 60 of those per day. So 60 times a day, our detector lights up like a Christmas tree. That's fine. If we would build that on the surface, it would light up like a Christmas tree all the time, and we would not be able to see these rare events coming from the neutrinos. There was a lot of uh, work that was done by our project team uh, to make this possible, to complete it. But we now have reached the point where this laboratory is built. Uh, we've managed to accomplish what we uh, uh, promised and what we wanted to do. And we're now really ready to uh, welcome the world to do experiments here in the city of Sudbury.